Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, yeah, my channel is all about treating yourself, whether that's luxury handbags, fine fragrances, jewelry, your favorite cup of coffee at the Starbucks or local coffee shop, whatever gourmet stuff, get your mocha, got mine back there. Uh, and stick around. We're going to be talking about House of Sillage's um, trend fragrances and another item I got with my Wonder Woman um, purchase. Hey, so when I picked up the Wonder Woman fragrance, they had a gift with purchase for spending, I can't remember now if it was just under 400 or just for the Wonder Woman purchase, but yeah, so I got um, several items. Let me finish unpacking them really quick and then I'll unbox. Okay, so yeah, so this was what came in the gift. So it's supposed to be, I think a bow, a lippy, and a fragrance. So let's start with this one, the trend number four. United We Stand is what it's called. It looks like the notes are Pink Lily of the Valley. Heart note is White Frangipini. And base note is Padihata. I'm hoping I'm saying that right, Padihata. So let's see if we can get this sucker out. Kind of a cute container. Oh, <laughs> Captain America, <laughs> Wonder Woman. I guess this is the old Wonder Woman type of uh, outfit. So let's see. Do I have anything on? I don't. Okay, that's interesting. Definitely getting the lily of the valley. Definitely floral. I'm not getting the frangipani. Maybe I just don't, I don't know what that smells like. But it, I mean, I this is lily. This is lilies. So, and I don't know what par he did. I'll have to look that up. But if you like lilies, this one is all up your alley. But this is nice. It's just, it's all I smell is the lily. And maybe it's because I'm sensitive to, to it. It's probably got other notes that come out in other on other people. But for me, it's lily, lily, lily. Just like a red flashing light. Okay. So the lippy is the royal. Which I'm pretty sure I don't have. I have a lot of them, but I don't have this one. Because I think it's relatively new to their line. Little caps. So I don't know if anybody knows this, but they are meant to go inside the um, bow case. But you can technically just carry it around. So I mean, when you take it in the bow case, you take it out like that. But you can use them as is. Before, when you put them in the bow case, you should leave this one on, and then that way it's easier to push it in. But I want to swatch it, so we're going to do that real quick. It loves me. There we go. So pink. Let's do it right here. It's a really nice color. I would put it on, but I have another lippy on right now. So nice. Let's put that back away. So that would be really nice. I have. Um, let's see that again. I have the Duchess in my other bow right now, and I think it's more of a little dustier, but same type of tone, at least from first first impression, first thought about that. All right, so the usual little card, little bow in here. I think it's red. I think they said that they were gonna send a red one. So. It up. Yep, red. And 
I don't know if you all followed me during Vlogmas. I got one of these. Um, was it silver though? I can't remember now. I got one, a red one for um, Christmas. It was in another mystery box that I'd gotten. And um, at the time I was like, oh, I'm not a big fan of red. My girlfriend really likes red, so I'll give it to her. So I ended up giving it to her for Christmas. <laughs> and I laughed when I was like, oh, I'm getting it right back. See, it's one of those things that you know, it's like a boomerang. It just keeps coming back. You'll never get rid of it. So I am destined to have this red bow and that's okay. Yay. All right. So last but not least is remember oh yeah okay so we had to spend like 400 and I think I bought this because it was on clearance so right now it's 22 something normally 80 something um for this one so I went ahead and picked it up because it was something to throw in to make the the minimum purchase and like the case as well but just in case so this one is another floral um but it says that, and let me read that little description. It's bubbly, fun, and fancy free who move easily from dinner to dance floor. This playful, fresh scent is a must have for any classical chic style icon. And I really like the case, it's really cute. Um, top note peony, heart note white tea, base note sea moss. Sea moss. Oh, okay. If that smells like what the, what the top smells like. I'm going to be all over this one. I need to chill out for a minute right there. It was like really strong and um, that's the word I'm looking for when the chemically when it first um, hit, but maybe that's the, the sea moss. I don't know, but no, this is nice. Um, I don't know if bubbly is the word. I would use for it but fresh fresh is yeah so bubbly I guess this reminds me of my shampoo that's what it is I'm like this is very familiar my John Frieda shampoo and it, that one says it's a warm amber scent though that's so weird but yeah my conditioner I'm currently using <laughs> brilliant brunette is um this scent so neat I can layer it up. And my husband loves the way it smells. So the last one I ever washed my hair, he loves to sniff my hair. So, um, yeah, that's cool. I might have to pick up a few more of these. I hope, I mean, it says it's on clearance. So I'm wondering if they're going to discontinue it for, um, maybe it's some green, the green tea that's the, that I'm smelling there now but no it's really nice it's that night it's a very neutral pleasant scent so yeah pick this one up if you want something that's not too overpowering but still sophisticated clean I guess is the word it's not it's not that clean like you smell like Lysol <laughs> you know what I mean not you know that type of clean but you know just nice it almost reminds me i don't know if back in the day if anybody ever um was into the philosophy kick and how that amazing grace was like something that people felt was calming nurturing still um not overpowering but just felt um and it was a nice presence for people and that's that's what i'm getting here it's like it's something that wouldn't um offend someone I guess is the word looking for and never so often I I might offend with my <laughs> strong fragrance. I don't care but um no this is nice so if you can pick it up don't definitely pick up number one I'm gonna pick me up a backup of it um number four just I mean I think I'll keep it around for the novelty of it but I don't think I'll ever wear this maybe if someone doesn't mind that I sprayed it, maybe I'll throw it in the giveaway because um, this is very floral. So, um, I don't know, maybe a future video will chat. Put a comment down below if this is like, if Lily's up your up your alley and maybe, you know, I'll throw it in the, in the, uh, the giveaway for, for folks. If you're, if, like I said, don't mind that, that there was a spritz out of it. It's just, um, 
not my cup of tea. All right, y'all. Thanks for joining me. I'm glad to have you. Um, hopefully you will come by again, like, comment, subscribe. Remember again, we have that 100 subscriber giveaway when I finally get there. Um, I think I'm around 30 still-ish. So share, like me. <laughs> Just kidding. Just comment, subscribe, um, hang out, have more content coming, um, do at least weekly. So just uh, some random things that we'll be chatting about here and there. And um, once we get to a thousand subscribers, that's Cupcake still waiting for that special day when that happens. So it's good to have you around. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.